And here's a site that you'll see country lanes and hedgerows and scrubland all over the country at the moment. These distinctive clusters of scarlet berries of Viburnum opulus. This is the Gelder Rose, also known as cramp bark, probably more commonly known as cramp bark. But quite a straggly plant. It's in the elderflower family, the Caprifoliaceae family. And you'll see it in very similar settings to the elder. Like I say, roadsides, hedge banks, scrub. Now, the red berries, many books will tell you they're edible. They are very bitter, straight off the tree. They can obviously be made into a, into a jam or a conserve again. I haven't yet tried them. Purely their bitterness off the tree has put me off a little bit. But like I say, the main interest for a lot of people is the bark. Generally taken from branches that are at least three years old, and that'll be for a number of reasons, such as the amount of material that you can collect, as well as just giving the plant enough space and room and just being kind to it so it can grow away again and not be depleted too much by your harvesting. And it's the inner bark of a stem such as this. It's the soft cambium tissue you'll find just underneath the outer bark. And it's that material that you want to harvest. This plant is renowned, especially for women with period pains and cramps. It's an anti-inflammatory pain reliever. And much like how Meadowsweet works with its salicylic acids and other salicylates, the same compounds are present in cramp bark. You'll come across the salicylic acid a lot with these videos because it is almost a ubiquitous molecule in plants, acting as a growth hormone for the plant. Whereas we can use it for, like I say, for anti-inflammatory pain relieving purposes. So it's one to know about and it's one you won't really be able to miss at this time of year. We'll come back to in the spring when we'll be able to see the white flowers. Viburnum opulus.